Hello and welcome. So this morning should have been, we're not thinning anymore, we're taking down the big stuff that we tagged down here in the bottom of the valley. We'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, day four yesterday, I obviously ran out all my large trails and um, started to take down the big tag trees. So I took three sections of one of the large ones back. Then uh, we had this weird warm, we'll get to that noise in a minute as well, weird warm weather and the trail started to punch through. So I needed to leave it. So I thought, well, I'd do a bit of splitting in the yard. And uh, because the weather's getting slightly warmer, it's also time to deal with Casper. Deal with Casper, you say? Well, you've heard me mention before that um, about my poodle, underneath my bears of poodle. Wow, there he is. Come. Good boy. There's my poodle. Obviously he's work in progress. I've got to finish him off, but um, yeah, there he is. Skinned. Isn't it? Yeah, you skinned. Are you? Not stunned? <laughs> All right, well, the problem we got is uh, <clears throat> up there on the side of the mountain. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, he's got a stick. Good boy. He's helping. Uh, the SCA, the Swedish Forestry Association, or the Mafia, as they're sometimes known, well, they arrived in force yesterday morning and they got a big harvester and they're clear cutting. Well, I think they're clear cutting up on the side of the mountain. Anyway, <clears throat> so they got to do what they got to do and how they got to do it. The only trouble is, is they've run their super highway. There was a moose out here. I mean, it was huge. Massive. Massive moose. That was here yesterday. It's vast. I don't want to meet that one. I really don't want to meet that one. Right, so, anyway. They've run their super highway straight on my boundary. Well, not on my boundary, on the boundary of the land where I cross. So this, this is my logging trail. And it's quite delicate already. And then we arrive at this devastation. What has happened here? Well, something very bad, or good, depending on where you look at it. So this is now a logging superhighway. Trashed. So that dead stump there, that's, that's the boundary. This is where all my young trees are and on this side and running straight down the boundary through there that is now a logging super highway <laughs> you're not even going to recognize this place in a few days but they're logging up on the mountain and um there you go look at that now they've inadvertently put that on my side of the boundary don't suppose there's any chance probably not no shame but yeah, so that's the end of that. I can, uh, I can cut from over there no longer. Well, I can cut, I just can't get it out. Not until all this is gone and then I can get down there with something else, but they just, yeah. There's one half of my trail, goes off down there. And there's the other half. And uh, yeah. So when I was struggling for content, I thought, right, we'd get on and get down here and do, no. No, we can't do that. It is a little, it's not so dry anymore. It's a bit, and it's raining. Huh. Well, that's quite a special moment. And I'll tell you why. Because I haven't seen rain since September, uh, six months ago. First rain in six months, yeah, it's raining. Well, so, there you go. Logging Super Highway. 
That's ended my season, just like that. So we're back in the yard. I'll show you what's gone on the last 48 hours. Well, firstly, there's no snow on the roof. Now it's started to rain, which is always a bad thing. Starting the second week of March. Right. We. Well, I can see bare ground, which I haven't seen since September. And uh, you now start seeing all the ice forming. Yeah. Now it starts getting really dangerous and it's going to rain on top of this lot and freeze. So uh, that, that's about a foot of ice. This is the first melt of the winter. First snow we had October. 22nd so uh, you can still see the depth of the snow that's left so we're not out of winter by any means but we're having this funny warm-up period and you can see the rivers are starting to run that's actual water and that is actual gravel so whilst it's been really sheltered we can actually see some of the yard yeah, it's raining. Wow. Amazing. All right, well, that's all outside activities over with. What can I say to that? I'm 
So the river travels both sides of the island and it's still well and truly frozen over over there but this is wide open water. That's for sure. Our little lion. <laughs> oh, I can hear an helicopter. That's got to be from the SCA, from the logging company. So I suppose I could start up the sawmill. Except the rain we had earlier has frozen on top of all this snow and um, it's quite dangerous. And the melt continues. Well, sorry about the lack of real content there. It's been a difficult and funny old week, but um, I very much appreciate you all watching. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.